Welcome back everyone. Well, we're right in the middle of the Stanley Cup playoffs and who better to talk about it with in the NHL's highest drafted player from South Florida ever, Arizona Coyotes defenseman Jacob Tricker. And Jacob, thanks for having you on. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, man. So you're back in Boca Raton, your native town. And, you know, now that you've had a minute to kind of sit back, soak it all in and think about the last year, what's that all been like for you? It's been great. It was, uh, it was a great year in Arizona. Um, First year in National Hockey League was, it was awesome. I had a great group of veteran guys in Arizona who, who were able to you know take me under their wing and, and teach me a lot about the next level. And um, you know this was this was ultimately where I wanted to be this year. Um, to make it as an 18 year old was something I've wanted to do for a while and had my you know had my eyes set on to do. So uh, to accomplish it was very special and uh, it's a great organization. I'm happy happy to be a part of. Uh, obviously a huge Florida Panthers fan growing up. So when you came back to Sunrise in March to play the Panthers with the Coyotes, being a member of the opposite team, what was going through your mind as you took the ice that night and what were the emotions that you were feeling? Yeah, it was special. It was a very special night. Um, it was uh, one to remember for sure. I had uh, close to 100 family and friends there. Um, and like you said, that was the rink I, I grew up going to watch the Panthers play. And uh, we had season tickets every year and um, helped me fall in love with the sport, going to watch those games and, and really got me into the game. So to be on the opposite end of, of the ice uh, was, was you know, almost surreal. And, and it, was, uh, it was a night I'll, I'll remember forever. Uh, growing up here in South Florida and playing in Arizona, two areas that aren't traditionally known for being huge hockey towns. What's it like for you to kind of be an ambassador for the sport and help grow the game for future generations? It's awesome. Um, I think it's it's such a big part of, of the game now is we're continuing to try to, to grow it and to expand the sport and to different regions. And, and when you see guys, you know, coming out of Florida, come out of California, Arizona, they're getting drafted higher and higher. And, um, you know, it's great to see you whenever whenever I'm home, I like to get out and, and you know, go to camps and, and go to practices down here in South Florida. And, and just try to you know get the kids more into the game and and uh, the more we can grow it the, the better it is for the sport so uh, it's great to see it grow down south got a little bit of time left we can't let you go without talking some stanley cup playoffs so you've played against all of these teams that are left remaining out of your opinion which team is the most dangerous has the best chance of going all the way uh it's tough not, not to like pittsburgh um they're a team that's that's really really deep. Even with their injuries, they're still deep. They have the best player in the world, in my opinion, as well on their team. So uh, I like them. I also like Nashville, who is going on to the Western Conference Finals after they win tonight. So uh, those are two teams I love to watch, and and uh, they're tough to play against. So um, they have a good chance. Uh, Pittsburgh, you heard it here first, and uh, producer Max is definitely going to love that. Yeah. So. All right, well, thanks for having us, yeah. man. Of course, we love to follow your for career. Sure. We'll continue to do the same. Thanks so. for having me. All right, that's going to do it for us here on Honda 5 Sports Live. For everyone here at ESPN West Palm and News Channel 5, have a great night.